Hi everybody, we finally made it. We only went around circle three times before we found it because the streets and city um, maps did not correlate with her phone apparatus, which is called Much a, better. I don't know what that's called. But don't go on Google Map and print it out and think you're going to get there because it didn't work. So anyway, we finally made it up here. We're on Minnehaha Avenue and we're going to go over to the Time Bomb. So let's check her out. All right, we're standing right outside of the time bomb right now. We're going to go inside. I'm going to kind of give you a little, this is my cousin Christy, which is what I'm talking about all the time. We're going to give you a little shot on the outside so you can see what it looks like. We'll see, someday I will get better at doing this. Cute outside, a little time bomb, a little sign, I'll give you a shot. And let's go inside. Okay, we're not going to the time bomb because we just found out it opens at noon. So. At least you got a little look at the outside of it. Bummed out. It looked like it had some cute stuff in it. So now we're going to head over to Lady Lucille's because my cousin Christy. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it or not. Um, did check the opening time, which is 10 a.m. Um, we would have came back to that, but we have lots of things to do today, so we can't be hanging until noon because you know the stuff we're going on. So we're going to go up to Lady Lucy's now, and I know we'll have better luck there. All right, we made it to Lady Lucille's. We're trying to navigate the snow there, trying to hard to get, get around here, but Lady Lucille's is open, so this is that place I've also told you about. It's on Facebook and it's really cute stuff. I'll give you a little view of what's going on out here. And my cousin Christy, she's cute today in a bag and little white pennies and whatnot. So it's Lady Lucille's, and then she also has a vintage camper that I've seen on her site too, but look at all that cute stuff. Because I'm taking you shopping, so you got to look at everything too. So we're going to go inside, and it is open, which is always awesome. Yay. I think everything's going to be really cool in here. Get ready. Oh my god, it's better than I thought it would be. Hello. Oh, lots of cute stuff. Well, thank you very much. It's our first time here. Okay. <gasps> is that adorable? I'm just going to let you take a little shot of everything they have in here. Oh, and my favorite. They have Betty Boop on. We'll have to do a little talk about Betty Boop sometime. She's got a lot of cool history. Back from wartime. She's a wartime gal. Some clothes. Some. I'm going to just show you around the shop a little bit, but when I start looking at stuff, I will not be taping anymore because I can't multitask that way. <laughs> Cute dresses. I'm trying to see who they got up there. Can't see what the what's the brand on those dresses? Do you know? Ladybug. I haven't heard of that no, before. Lindy Bop. Lindy Bop. I've heard of Lindy Bop. Um, they're I believe out of the UK. Yes. Um, and they have awesome dresses. And I've never ordered anything because of the shipping and handling and whatnot. But she's got them here. So we're gonna be trying. We may, Christy might find something. Very cute stuff. So we're gonna do some power shopping in here, and we'll see what we buy. Okay, we're in the back room right now. I just got a bunch of cute stuff back here. And who's that? Who's that in the mirror? Well, it's me with my outfit for the day. I don't know if you can see it or not. So got my hair done, my glasses. We're both wearing little fur coats today. Christy has on a lovely black rabbit. Dyed rabbit. Dyed rabbit. Dyed meaning dyed in two different ways. And I have a faux, faux coat with my little housewife's dress and tights on and my married jeans, if you see those. So, um, cute stuff back here. Look at that bureau. Isn't that That's adorable? Fun. And the jewelry boxes. Oh, I used to have some of my mom's old jewelry boxes oh and I did not keep them. Fiberglass lamp, very cute. What are you looking at there? Oh, that's kind of you. Let me take a shot. I got I some sun reflection. Cute, but I like it. Oh, that is cute. That looks like it's real vintage. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Like yeah, yeah. Mouth, I mouth I can't it's always, you can always tell by the tag. Okay, girl, this, here's a little tag inside. And usually if it's true vintage, you usually have the nice little silky tag. And it'll be hand knitted mm -hmm. in there. I mean, if you can see, it's embroidered. Yeah. So that's one good sign to tell you if it's vintage or not. That's cute. That is very cute. Hmm. All right, we're going to do a little more shopping. All right, outfit number three, because I've been busy shopping myself. We're just going to show her from the knees up, because you don't want to see what's going on a little bit. 
This is dress number three. That's very cute. It's kind of like a black satin. Yeah. Tailored. Kind of reminds me kind of 40s. Really. I like it. I like it a lot. I like that one a lot too. That one has to be a keeper. Here's the other two that we. I'll step back here. Pink. Pink. Very lovely. Fits her perfectly also. And another black one. Which is very cute also. The one we decided not to keep was the. Uh, this one, which had like the 80s ruffle at the bottom. Yeah. We, didn't go, we weren't having that. We weren't having that at all. None of that. So now she has to decide out of the three dresses which one she's going to keep, if not all of them, depending on what the prices are. Because you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll be back in a minute. I'm going to try on a dress. All right. Hmm. I like this one. All right. I've got my dress on that I'm going to purchase today. It's a little um, sourpuss dress. So it's kind of a retro feel to it, but not true retro, but it's super comfy. It's like real stretchy material. Um, and uh, I think I'm gonna get this one for Viva because my cousin Christy has a really cute blue retro -y Vegas um, leopard print dress so that I'll wear this one, she'll wear her blue one, and that will be our first Wednesday night outfit. So um, I think we're gonna be done here, get our purchases and move on, and we'll see you at the next stop. I forgot that. All right, we're up on Nicollet and 35th, and we're at the B Squad Vintage. And um, we're going to head over across the street right now, and we're going to take you for a walk with us. And I got my wing purse in here so I don't get hit by a vehicle or anything. It looks like it has, like, true vintage stuff in there. It looks very cute. I can't wait to go in. And we're going to follow Christy in the door, and here we go. Okay, we're inside the store. Oh my god, it's got so much stuff. I can't stand it. Very cute. They have a large selection of true vintage stuff in here, which is my favorite. It's got that uh, true vintage stuff. True vintage. True vintage true stuff. Vintage. It's got that nice smell I like when you go into an old clothing store. If you know what that smell is, you know what I'm talking about. Some cute dresses I already see. Some stuff that I love. Kind of 40 ish looking dresses. I'm just gonna take a little walk around the shop for you so you can see everything. Very cute. Oh my god, look at that camera up there. Some nice Hawaiian, maybe some Hilo Hana stuff. And some beltages. Christy could be Kim if you wore that shirt. What is it for? Bowling maybe? A bowling shirt, I bet. The addition cards and gifts. Montgomery, Minnesota. Cute. There is just a ton of stuff. Look at this rack is just winter wow. coats. Yeah, cool. Which we need, need up here because we live in a very cold climate. Cute stuff. A bunch fur. of really cute. Yes, my cousin Christy does not need any more furs. Stay away from the furs, please. I only have five. Oh, she's got too much stuff. She's just like me. But I got old stuff. Very cute. Oh my god. And they got a whole bunch of jewelry, which looks cute. Some bangles, some beads. Yep, we'll be doing some damage before we leave here today. I'm just going to give you a little shot of the cabinet. Very cute. Oh, look at the glasses. They're good. Then you can just put your own scripts in them, which works very well. Have a nice little back section here. Nice little record section, which I have several record players. I like to play my old LPs, spin them in the evening. Some very cute stuff. Large selection of that. And they got some like 80s retro stuff too, like the old um, rock and roll t-shirts. You know, you go to the concert, you gotta get the t-shirt and stuff. And some nice eclectic little things over here. Oh, the old kitchen clock. That would look very nice in my camper, I think. I will have to look into that. So, um, I'm just gonna look around the shop a little bit, see what they have. Um, maybe we'll try some stuff on for you. And we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, found a couple dresses so far, yeah. and I think I might get this one. It just has a few little um, holes and whatnot in it, but I think I could fix it easily enough, even with my sewing skills. So I'll have a little take a look at it. There it is. Don't you just love that? Very 40s. I like that. It's kind of a mauve purplish type tone to it. So I'm going to try that on. And my cousin Christy has found this cute, 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 it's a real pastel-y floral print type stuff. 
My cousin has a large selection to choose from because she is a petite little size where I only have a few things. But you know what? That's okay. I can live with own that. Own it. Just own it. I do. I do own it. Do just got it right. I was walking around the shop just a little bit ago and I thought, what? Something felt weird. And I had looked down. I remember today is my first day of my petticoat wearing and I have got my vintage one on and I thought, well, I think that will stay up okay. I don't need to pin it because it has no elastic because I got plenty of other things to hold the pinafora. Well, I was walking through the store and there was a puddle of pinafore around my feet. Only girls in here, so the shopkeeper gave me a nice pin. We tucked it up, pinned it, and it's all fine. So I'm going to try a few dresses on and see what's going on here next. All right, you know how I am about cabinets and chests. Look at this. It's a little gold quilted. Hope you can see that okay. Lingerie chest. And I think it's on sale, but I don't really need it. Because, you know, I don't have any room for anything. But just look at that. Isn't that cute? It's a little, little quilted drawers. Oh, just a minute. Hat find, hat find, hat find. Oh my god, what color is that? It looks like it's orange. It does look kind of orangish, or is it reddish? It looks like it's kind of red and. Well, I don't know. Orange. Have to get out in the light. Sometimes you need appropriate lighting or hold it next to something. Oh, maybe red. Reddish orange. It's a reddish orange. Reddish orange. It's cute. Cute hats. And here's like, oh, that's like a little sleeping hairnet, maybe? Perhaps. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think you'd wear that out and about. I think that might be something you'd wear at bedtime, perhaps. So we're going to keep on shopping it and we'll show you what we find. Still shopping. Cousin Christy is going to try on that cute little dress that she saw the little pastel floor one. I think it would be awesome on her. But you know, I'll tell you what, you don't need to be petite to find really cute vintage stuff. Um, uh, when you are looking for vintage stuff, like me, I'm about a size 16. Um, don't be looking for size 16 vintage stuff because the sizes were a lot different than they are now. I think my cousin Christy wears a size, what do you wear, a size 4 or 6? And but vintage size, she probably wears a 12 or 14. Oh, yeah. So they run a lot different than you can do. Really? So many times I look for anything so vintage, I always look for plus sizes. Don't worry about it. Go right to the plus size out. stuff. Uh, <laughs> because the 16 <laughs> would have never fit. So um, she's trying that on, and uh, I think it's going to be really cute. Is it something you might take to Viva? Yeah. That'd be a cute, like daytime dress. A little summery and bright. So she might be taking that to Viva. If it works, so. Um, Found a dress, a um, nice 1940s nice, style kind of Maria material, and it fits, which is awesome. You don't have quite the right undergarments to wear with this, so because there are things that are not where they should be. But anyway, it's a keeper. It's only $23. I can't believe it. Big thumbs up on that one. Um, but it fits really well. Otherwise, and with me, I have a lot of problems with I have larger shoulders, and it fits perfect there too. So we'll be getting this one.